Hi, I'm Daniel Cox with Natural Exposures, and we're here in this incredibly beautiful wildlife refuge called Bosque del Apache. And what we're doing here is we're testing out the new Panasonic Lumix 100 to 400 millimeter lens, which is something that I've been drooling over and hoping would show up here at some point, uh, sooner rather than later, and we finally have one. This is a lens that is branded with Leica, and so it's got Leica glass and Leica technology built into the optics of this incredibly beautiful lens. What's unique about it is that it's very small. Like everything that we have in the Micro Four Thirds Lumix cameras, it's considerably smaller and more compact and lightweight than what we have traditionally shot with DSLR cameras for many, many years. Um, this lens is a 1 to 400, so on the Panasonic cameras, it's actually a 2 to 800 millimeter lens. The f-stop range is from 4 to 6.3, but when you think about it, it's only one third of a stop less than 5.6. So with the new technology and the sensors that we're shooting, they've been able to give us super high quality optics. And the sensor is then takes over and gives us a little more of the light we need with the higher ISOs. And so far in the tests that we've been shooting, it's not been a problem at all. And I'm really excited about the range of this lens. It has such a tremendous range from 200 millimeters all the way out to 800 millimeters that you can really bring things in in ways that we've never been able to do before because we haven't had this much range in a lens. It has a very high quality feel. It's got the Leica serious metal feel. Therefore, it's not as light as some of the other Lumix lenses, but that's all right. We need a lens like this to be very well built, sturdy, and solid. It's got great buttons on it from full to infinity focus limiter, which is great for autofocus in situations where you're photographing like we are here, the birds that you may hear in the backgrounds, the cranes and the snow geese. It's very helpful to have a limiter on your lens so that if the camera misses focus, it comes back much quicker when you're out at uh, the limited setting on this particular optic. It also has a tripod collar and a zoom lock, which are very helpful if you need them. I shoot this when I'm shooting video on the tripod, so that's a very necessary item. And the zoom lock is to keep the lens from moving out while you've got it draped over your shoulder. Autofocus to manual focus settings on this lens, as well as the power OIS, which is optical image stabilization. Which brings me to the next point. This lens connected to the newest GX8, Lumix GX8 body, has the ability to have what they call dual image stabilization. And what that means is the camera has image stabilization in the body, and the lens has it in its optics as well. And they work together to give you basically two types of image stabilization, which gives you the ability to hand hold this lens. Here on the refuge, we've been using this lens now for the last three days. And one of the things about the refuge system is that they do require that you stay close to the road, which is very much acceptable. You don't want to be disturbing the birds out there during their feeding time and their resting time when they're on the water. So it's a tremendous help to have a serious telephoto. And that's what this thing is. And we have the ability to stand on the road, shooting back into some of the prime areas where the geese and the cranes are feeding. And then in the evening time, we've had some incredible opportunities, just beautiful sunsets the last couple of evenings, where we are able to photograph them going from the fields where they're feeding back where they roost on the water. And it's really a help to have so much range when they're flying from point A to point B. We're able to uh, get them in flight, in the air, flying over to the area that they're going to spend the night. And having a zoom like this is really, really helpful. And I've always been a tremendous fan of zooms, especially with wildlife and nature, because if you don't have the ability to, let's say, back up or move forward, uh, you lose a lot of pictures. And especially on the refuge system like this, where we've been spending the last few days, something like this, a zoom from your car, on the road, standing on tripod, or even standing there on the side of the road, hand holding, you've got the ability to move in and out with your subject matter as they come flying over, and you're able to move with them like that immediately as they're coming towards you. Another one of the really positive aspects of having such small, light, and mobile gear is that you can carry a couple. I sometimes carry three cameras with me, one with a 12 to 35 millimeter lens on it, another one with the 35 to 100, and then this one with the 1 to 400. Now that sounds like a lot, and I used to do something very similar back in the days of the traditional DSLRs, but today I carry the same amount of gear, and it's one third to maybe one half of the weight sometimes, and you can hike along on these trails as if you were 
like a general tourist, it's not that big, obtrusive, and bulky, and you can walk much longer distances and spend a lot more time in the field enjoying what you came here for, which is to see the cranes, enjoy the snow geese, and get pictures of it if you're carrying the right gear. And that's one of the things about the Micro Four Thirds and the Lumix system in particular, is that it's just more manageable. What's really unique about the Panasonic Leica connection is that Leica is world renowned for optics. And it's been one of the exciting things about using the Panasonic Lumix system is that they have a very, very close working relationship with Leica. This lens is branded as Leica, means it's got Leica glass in it. And Leica works very much hand in hand with Panasonic to develop the optics in these lenses. Having the Leica name on our optics is really useless unless it's actually providing tremendous results. And we're seeing incredible high quality sharp images with great contrast and beautiful colors and we'll be taking a look at some of those pictures you'll be seeing some of those coming out and you will see the incredible quality that i'm experiencing here having shot this lens for the first time the like optics are providing not only sharp details at f8 and f5 6 but at the very widest part of the lenses when it's at at f4 being able to shoot it wide open and that's an important feature one of the differences between great optics and decent optics is if you can shoot them wide open. That's a really important element and we're seeing that here with this 1-400 to as well. It's been a pleasure finally getting a chance to use this lens. It's been something we've needed for a really long time and it's going to be a tremendous new tool for the Lumix system. I think you're going to enjoy it as much as I do.